I don't want you to skip any fundamentals. In hey guys, Sean with Fire. And today we are talking about Cook's Holsters. Obviously I'm wearing a shirt. And if you guys haven't checked them out, you really need to. Recently, I just did a tour at Cook's manufacturing facility, and let me tell you, he's got some really awesome stuff going on there. Uh, basically, he has automated almost every process. So um, we use a, a clicker press, and then we use uh, dies that we've designed, and we actually take the Kydex before we ever even put it into the heat, and we cut it to... We cut it to the rough shape that we're going to be making a holster out of before we ever even uh, put it in the heat. Then we take it to our, our heat press. We put it texture side down inside our heat press and we warm it up and it sits in that press for about 30 seconds till it's warm. Once it comes out, it's all preheated. We take and we put it on the board where we want it to be a finished product, approximately. And then we pull a vacuum on it. And then once this cools, we'll take it over to the folding table. So then once we take it out of the press, we take it over to the folding table and we fold it in half. Once we fold it in half, we take and put the holes in it for the belt clip where it will eventually mount. And then we machine all the edges to fit, round them all off, and then it becomes a finished inside the waistband holster. But really, you need to check out Cook's holsters. One, consistency is key. He said that over and over, and that was the whole point of him automating as much stuff as he can. Two, he's a huge law enforcement military supporter, um, and I believe both of those get 10% off. Also, he does a discount for 2AW members, which is a group. If you're not familiar with them, check them out on Facebook, 2A Web, or 2AW. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, I can't tell you more about, uh, about how great of a guy Bob Cook is in his facility. And I talk to some of the employees a little here and there, and, and I tell you what, it's like every one of them told me almost the exact same thing. Family, family, family. It's like a family. It's your home away from home. And that kind of American business here in the States, producing everything, manufacturing everything, and then selling it, um, is really what we need to support, really what uh, I look for. And also with Cook's Holsters is they do training guns. So you can get a training gun. This one was actually uh, custom. He did the blue for me. He normally does them in yellow. But... Uh, uh, I'm sure you can request colors, maybe, uh, or or pay for additional colors, but I did. So I, I've got the blue training gun, so when I do my classes, I can uh, use that, so I, my muzzle's good. And uh, he also sells already prepped for making Kydex holsters guns, so if you wanted one of these, so you could start making your own holsters. Also, he sells every bit of the hardware. So everything that, you know, the custom printed, the custom camo, uh, the custom design, you could buy everything essentially from Cooks and manufacture or make your own Kydex holster. And then he, uh, on top of that, he's got some really big name, I guess, wholesale distributors or distributors. Um, so he sells to them directly and then they sell retail. Um, so, I mean, he's really like, while I was at his facility, I probably saw at least 500 holsters in the making. So he has really blown up and done really good for himself in just under three years, right? That's kind of crazy. A guy goes from three years ago to not having one firearm to now he has over 200 real firearms in his manufacturer his facility 
so that every time they get through making a holster, they can stick a real gun. Even though it was done off mold and everything automated how they do it, but every time when they're done, they can stick a real gun in it and check that retention. Every time when they're done, they can take a real gun and make sure it has the proper retention around the breech, around the trigger guard, around the light. Here he is. <laughs> oh, wow. Tell me that's not cool. Yeah, so definitely uh, put them in real gun. I mean, I just, I, I don't know what else to say besides you guys really need to check them out. I'm the king of fire.